my name is Amanda and welcome to another one of my quilt block tutorials. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this. I am calling this a mountain block unit because if you make enough of these you will end up with something that looks a little bit like this. Oh! So to achieve the layout of this block I've used four of these mountain block units. Two of them are going this way and then the other two are going in the opposite direction to then get this sort of really cool mirror effect in the block. So in this tutorial I show you how to make just this unit and also the way that you can cut the opposite unit as well. Now the really great thing about this block is you can make it as big or as small as you like. You don't have to use the measurements that I have provided with this video. You can do really tiny little mountain blocks or you can do really big large ones. It really just depends on what size half square triangle you sort of start out with. Now of course just like with all of my other tutorials you will find all of the measurement and cutting instructions for this block down in the description box below. Also down in the description box you'll find the full details of the fabrics that I've used to make this block. So here's how you make it. To make a mountain block unit you will need to cut two eight and a half inch squares from two contrasting fabrics. Start by first marking a diagonal line on one side of the solid fabric with a lead pencil and ruler. Pair this square with the print one, right sides together and pin them into place. At the sewing machine, place your quarter inch foot along the left hand side of the line and sew a quarter inch seam following it all the way to the end. Then turn the unit around and sew another quarter inch seam along the other side of the line. Next, with a ruler and blade, cut the square in half, leaving you with two half square triangles. Press open the half square triangles using a medium to hot steamy iron and ensuring that the seams are pressed towards the darker side of fabric. Lastly, trim each half square triangle to a perfect 8 inch square using a set square ruler. To do this, line up the 45 degree line running along the center of the ruler with the seam of the half square triangle while also ensuring the 8 inch markings on the ruler are on the inside of the square. Trim off the first two edges using a rotary blade. Then spin the block around, line up the 45 degree line again and the 8 inch markings against the two edges you've just cut. Trim off the last two edges and that's a perfect 8 inch half square triangle ready to go. Next, line up the half square triangle unit with the lines on your mat and with the print triangle pointing towards your right hand side. Then with a ruler and blade, cut the half square triangle into four two inch strips. Now take the two middle strips and swap them over. Then take the two strips on the outside and swap them over as well, creating a mountain block unit. To piece the block together, place each strip onto the next and then pin them securely together. Sew the strips together using a quarter inch seam, chain stitching the next pair through. After snipping the joining threads, press the seams in each duo towards the print fabric using a medium to hot steamy iron. Place the duos back into their original positions and then flip one onto the other and pin them evenly together. Take them back to the sewing machine and sew them together using a quarter inch seam. And then lastly press the seam on the back towards the print fabric and give the top of the unit a good press as well. The unit should now measure approximately 6.5 inches by 8 inches. Then with the other half square triangle unit, cut, piece and press it in the opposite direction, creating a mirror effect when you join the units together. So from here and just as I mentioned at the start to achieve the layout of this particular block just simply make two mountain block units in the opposite directions and then simply piece them all together using a quarter inch seam just in the same way as you would a normal block and you will achieve this awesome very cool looking block to do what you will with. And another great thing about the mountain block unit is you don't actually have to piece it together to achieve this particular block that I've shown you. You can lay out your units any way that you like to achieve any type of result that you want in your quilt top it really is 
up to you like it's almost like a free reign of creativity with this unit which I think is really really great and lots of fun to explore now I have been able to find some really great examples of the different ways that you can use the mountain block unit on Pinterest so I will have a link to all of those wonderful pictures and photos from that all on the blog post that's associated with this video and if you want to go have a look at that there is a link to that blog post down in the description box below if you would like to see more of the things that I do here on my channel don't forget to subscribe I would love to have you come and join us and as always thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you another time very very soon bye